How's it going, guys? So, welcome to part two of Ninja Gaiden for the NES. Uh, part one, I played through the first portion of the game. The first portion of the game is significantly easier than the second bit of it. Uh, the last three levels and the final boss are a pain, uh, which is what we're about to see. Uh, so, so, just to kind of give you a heads up about what we're about to go through, these last three levels are challenging. They're really, really hard. There's a lot of memorization, a lot of a lot of enemies getting thrown at you, and uh, if you die at the last boss, which is actually three bosses, you have to start where we are right now. So uh, I'm crossing my fingers that I can actually get through it in a reasonable amount of time. I've played through this part portion before, and and it's it's sometimes it takes me upwards of an hour to get through this part. Hopefully, it won't take me anywhere close to that today. Uh, but right now, I have no idea. So we're just going to make our way through these levels, and um, this first this first of three levels is definitely the easiest. And I can usually get through it pretty easily, with the exception of getting hit in a few places. Okay, that's the first of the three levels. Now this level and the level that follows it are, they're brutal. I mean, they really are. Enemy placement is ridiculous. The, uh, the item placement is challenging. I mean, just everything about this part is really, really hard. And uh, if there are moments where I am silent, it's because I am trying to get past the part. Now this part right here I've seen in many videos where there, there's going to be a guy with a machine gun uh, standing on a ledge and I've seen in multiple videos where people complain about this part because you have to jump off and hit him with pretty precise timing. It's not the hardest part in the level but that part right there I've seen in many videos uh, where people complain about it being being hard and it is. I mean you've got to get the timing just right. And these three levels are full of moments like that. I think this part I think is one of the hardest parts in the entire game. That made it look really easy. Oh no, that guy spawned. Uh, I, think I, I think every time I play this part I die here once. Okay, let's let the guy walk off the edge. Kill the, don't kill the bird. Uh, okay, we made it. That part is really hard. Um, primarily just because there's like three or four enemies at once getting thrown at you. I mean, ultimately all I have to do with that part is run and uh, we'll talk about it when we get back to it later because I'm sure we're gonna play this part again. Okay, this is officially the last level. The end of this level is the boss fight. The infamous boss fight, that's actually three boss fights, where if you die, you have to play these three levels all over again. Jump over this guy. I mentioned in my other video that that enemy, you just, you don't ever kill him, unless you just have to uh, run past him at all costs. Now this part, I just, I just got a time stop item. It stops time, enemies don't jump out. That section right there is incredibly challenging if you do not get that item. Uh oh. Oh no. Why am I jumping on the... That was irritating. Okay. So what's nice about this first time getting to the last boss is uh, they actually give you full health when you get to him. Every time you get to him after this first time, they're not as nice. So here we go.
last boss iteration one. And if you've watched the cutscenes, you'll know that this is actually my father, who is being controlled by uh, another character. Okay, so that's last boss iteration number one. Number one. Number two, I'm just going to be honest, I don't know how to beat iteration number two of the last boss without the item that I just had. And they just gave me a bonus points for all the leftover uh, stuff that I had. So at this point, I have, I have full health, but I have no items, as you can see. And what makes him hard is he shoots these fireballs at you based on where you're standing. So, and he throws them at a different point at a different place every time so I don't know I'm gonna try to beat him I, I think I try to do this every time I get to him and I'm actually doing better than I usually do watch this be the first time that I ever beat him like this not likely but you never know so far, looking pretty good. Well, spoke too soon. Let me concentrate for a second. I'll save us both a lot of time if I can beat him like this. Oh man. No, now I'm just getting hit. So nervous. I really would like to beat him right now. But I'm almost there. This may actually happen. One more. Oh no! Oh no! This cannot be happening! No! No! I almost beat him like that! Which would have been the first time ever. But okay, okay, so but you see where I'm starting now. So he beat me, and I'm back here. Um, uh. So, this is what makes Ninja Gaiden really hard. This dumb last boss. and as a child made me feel like this game was literally impossible. I know otherwise now. I know that it's not actually impossible. But it's certainly not easy. Man, he had one health. He had one health! I can't believe that. I just, uh, oh well. I'm gonna have nightmares about that one. Came so close to beating him. <laughs> and my palms are sweaty from, from that fight. I hope that doesn't throw off my timing for the rest of this playthrough. Cause it could. Oh, see? See what I'm talking about? All it takes is just a little bit of nerves and suddenly Things change dramatically. Uh, I got two lives, not much health. Let me just get through this level. Let me just get through this level and into the next level. Then, uh, bird. Okay. Made it through. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. Well, I was. There we go. Okay, back at the last level. Sweaty palms. I've got sweaty palms. Do you have sweaty palms? I've got sweaty palms. <sighs> I 
Okay, now we got full health. I can just make it to him with this guy. With this life. Now the third iteration of the boss is not as hard as the first two in my opinion. He's not easy, but the uh, first two iterations are quite challenging. If you do not have the special item, the item that I have right now actually, which I'm probably not going to keep until I, for the rest of this playthrough. I'll probably get another item before I get to him. Ah. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Back at the bu back at this boss. So as you can tell, this time I have the amount of health that I had when I started fighting. That's the thing that makes him really hard is you have to get to that last level with a whole bunch of health. Oh man. There we go. Oh. See, it was much easier with that item. You know, the item that throws the fire up. Okay, and if you're watching the cutscene, you feel like you've beaten the game, and as a kid, you're like, yes, oh, I beat the last guy. And, uh, but, but that's not the way it goes. There's actually one more iteration of the boss, and oh man, I hope I can beat him. Anytime he hits you, he takes off like four health. I'm, I'm already half dead, and he just hit me twice. Okay, almost there, almost there. Ugh. Almost. I only got one life, one health left. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is hard. So hard. <sighs> but that's Ninja Gaiden. Part two of my Ninja Gaiden playthrough. <sighs> I'm gonna get this adrenaline rush going. Like serious adrenaline. I think that's what makes the Nintendo games so awesome is that uh, you know you really feel like you've accomplished something when you finish a game like Ninja Gaiden. I feel really good right now. <sighs> Kind of shaky, kind of shaky. But you know, I've been playing this game for. See, I think this game came out in '89. I've been playing this game since 1989, and when I beat this game, I still feel like I really accomplished something. I definitely recommend going back and watching the cutscenes. Like I said, I'm sure there's somebody out on YouTube that's got. Uh, as, as compiled all the cutscenes and uh, so you can see the story. It's got a really good story. Uh, for today's purposes I was just doing a general playthrough of the game and hopefully you enjoyed that without the cutscenes. Uh, obviously we're gonna watch this last portion of the game. The castle, temple, whatever, coming apart. So I will say, many years ago, my brother and I knew a guy who claimed to have finished this game, and, and we asked him, so what is it? what happens at the end of the game when you beat it? And he, his response was, oh, you know, he gets the girl and all. And we made a lot of fun of him because we thought, no way he beat the game. Well, um, watch what happens.
And I believe this is the first time you see his face. Well, I know it's the first time you see Ryu's face in, in the game. So there you go. He actually does get the girl and all. So my friend from a long time ago, if you're watching this video and you did legitimately beat Ninja Gaiden and you were telling us the truth, I apologize. <laughs> the darkness is finally over. And the sun comes up because everybody's happy now. Until Ninja Gaiden 2, which, you know, I've sort of been on the fence as to whether or not Ninja Gaiden 2 is more or less challenging than the first game. Um, I'm not as good at Ninja Gaiden 2 as I am Ninja Gaiden 1, because uh, I have played far more hours of this game than I have the second game. But, so, <clears throat> so here are our credits. We get to meet all the wonderful people who made this amazing game for us. Uh, this really is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, if you have the chance to play it, absolutely check it out. It's hard, but that's part of what makes it a lot of fun. You know, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be anywhere near as uh, good. I think that's sort of makes it, what makes it so amazing is the level of challenge that you've got to overcome to finish it. So. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my other videos. Check out the first part of this video if you didn't see the first part. The first part just shows me playing through the game up until I get to Bloody Moth. And uh, then obviously this, then I played this video. So, uh... I think this is actually one of those NES games that at the end of the credits, it just never resets. It plays and plays and plays until you physically turn off the machine. So with that, we have our The End. The game has thanked us for playing and I'm done. Again, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later.